Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's episode, we're going to talk about are they trying to disarm us before some kind of war or takeover, or whatever you think it might be. Now, me personally, obviously something's going down because the disarmament issue here in the United States is insane. Uh, and not insane, don't get me wrong. It, uh, let me. That was a wrong choice of words. It's going to get insane, but as right now, it's not. I know there are other places in this world and other countries that have had uh, their countries being disarmed, being insane, or the way they went about it anyway. So we, as of right now, we're on the cusp of it, but we're not there yet. But are they trying to disarm us before some kind of war? That's the big question. HR 127, I spoke about that on the Angry Truth channel. I also spoke about that on here. These are the links to it now and uh that's a disarmament bill now like i said in two videos in those two videos i don't think they're going to pass that uh bill but there will be variations of that bill coming out now biden today valentine's day if you will announced that he is going to uh put more effort into gun control and he announced that today on the anniversary of the Parkland shooting. So, which I think was today, three years ago, something like that. So anyway, he already made this statement. He's looking to push, uh, push ahead. I am going to do a video on the Angry Truth channel on Biden's gun promise, if you will. And stay tuned for that. That'll be out later this week. But anyway, now I spoke about something called the Civil War 3.0, another version of a civil war. You can check that out on the Angry Truth channel. Are we headed towards a different style war? And being that they're trying to disarm us, and they're trying to disarm us in many ways, guys. So a lot of people are like, well, our Second Amendment's under attack. Well, our First Amendment's under attack as well. So they're definitely trying to dismantle this country from inside out. Other countries had it happen to them and look at the outcome, right? So now we are definitely headed towards something. Again, disarming us for war, disarming us for some kind of a takeover, disarming us so that we can't fight back for whatever might happen. It's Listen, you don't disarm a country just because you feel like it. You don't be like, hey, let's disarm the American people because we have to. No, they're disarming us because they want to and because they want to control the narrative of whatever comes down the pipe now how does this affect preppers again like in the hr 127 video i did it affects us in a bigger way because if you want to own guns if you want to protect your family now you can't if you want to protect your preps now you can't obviously we're going to have to think of other ways on how to protect ourselves because we are very adaptable people but nonetheless it's going to affect us and it's probably going to push us towards a civil war of some kind now civil war 3.0 it's more if in my video i explained that it's more of a tech war it's more of them getting at you through technology and in the end pushing us towards an actual physical civil war now this style of disarmament if you will is going to be an elite at least in my opinion is going to be on an individual basis so that means they're going to disarm us and cut our communications whether that's social media or actual uh you know cell phones come cut our communications so we can't talk to one another i said in my um this video here where we talked about a law that could be passed in supreme court that could screw us over in the long run now there's a lot of and upon researching that case i came upon other cases that are happening all across the United States that need to be talked about so that we all know that this guy and this lady over here are, are in Second Amendment fights, meaning legal Second Amendment fights in either A, going to Supreme Court, or B, end up in the First Circuit Court of Appeal. So these cases are happening and we, a lot of us, and I won't say you know all of us, but a lot of us don't know about these cases. And we don't know about these cases because people are not talking about it. So once you start getting these individual cases happen and people getting their guns taken away from them individually, all we hear are is hearsay and rumors. Sort of like uh, in Germany 
when the Jews were hearing rumors of these concentration camps coming. And a lot of them were like, no, that's not happening. That can't be. That's, a, that's preposterous. That'll never happen here in this country, Germany. And then look what happened, right? Because of rumors and not enough communication. Now, I know that they, there was something to be said about their communication being uh, very lacking back then, obviously. But now we are in 2021 and our communication is still lacking because we're not talking to one another about Second Amendment issues that are going around the country. That being said, if they disarm us one at a time or individually, guys, they will get to a point where there's not enough of us left. They'll get to a point where they'll go to uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry's home and seize their 300 weapons and no one will hear about it. Because behind that, they'll throw the guy in the hospital or fucking uh, jail. And then he can't really communicate. Now, it's up to us to stay abreast of what's going on with the Second Amendment fight nationwide so that we can communicate to one another to let one another know that this shit is coming down the pipe and this is getting real. But we're not doing that, and that's why it's going to affect us. Now, in the prepper community, we should absolutely be talking about Second Amendment uh, fights that are happening in courts across this country. Because, again, that affects us as preppers. And being disarmed for a war, preppers, we get ready for, a lot of us are getting ready for, um, well, first of all, the disarmament that's coming, if it comes, and it comes as aggressive as the Democrats think it might come, it's going to get ugly. And I think they know that. So I don't think it's going to be as aggressive. But even if it's peaceful, even if it's over time, there's still going to push for the disarmament and we have to fight back preppers you guys are going to have to come out of the shadows and join the fight because this is not just a fight about people who love their guns and their ar-15s this is about taking away the very freedom that afforded us to keep those freedoms because once you take those freedoms away guys now we're like every other country getting shit crammed up our asses because the government told us so this is why, and, and the Second Amendment, and it's more than the Second Amendment. It's not just about keeping our guns. It's about keeping our guns so that we still can have the ability to free speech, so that we can talk about what we want, when we want, so that we can protest certain things without being forced. The Second Amendment goes way further than somebody keeping their favorite fucking firearm. Now, will this disarmament be fair? That remains to be seen. We don't know. I think that one part of me thinks that it might be, another part a part of me thinks it might not be. They might just fucking take guns away from right wing uh, and right wing conservatives, sorry. And a lot of preppers are right wing, but there are preppers who are left and they do want their firearms to protect their family. The problem with preppers and being disarmed is that the bad guys are going to still have the weapons. I said that in nature of uh, 121 video, 127 video, sorry. I said that, that the bad guys are gonna keep the weapons and there goes your prep and there goes your family's uh, protection, right? Because you can only keep people back for so long with fucking harsh language and spitballs, right? So at some point, they're going to make the push and if you don't have anything, you're screwed. Now, as far as it being fair, the one side of me is thinking, well, you know what, maybe they're going to side with a group of people because they are marginalized and they're going to let them, A, keep their firearms or B, have easier access to them. Now, again, with this disarmament, if you will, and arming us or disarming us for a war, it just sounds like there's something coming. Now, does it mean, guys, that the war is going to be an all-out fucking cannons, blasting, grenade-throwing kind of shit? No. But there are other kinds of wars, right? And this war, this disarmament for war, could be for some take, some kind of a takeover. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I'm guessing. I'm theorizing. I don't know. But this, this, so, this hard concern and this hard concentration on taking our Second, second Amendment away is insane taking our free speech away because they're trying to make us just like China. China's in the same boat. China is disarmed. China's free speech is in the toilet. You speak out against the Chinese government, they can fucking lock you up and throw you away. They have a social credit score system, which I'm going to do a video on on the Angry Truths channel. They have a social credit score system, guys, that I think America is trying to uh, introduce here. 
right? Why not? So guys, as far as this uh, disarming us for war, they're disarming us for something. And for preppers, that is a bad thing, a very, very bad thing. Because again, once we're disarmed, then what? We have nothing left. We have nothing left to defend ourselves. I'm sorry. So anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video makes some kind of sense on how this relates to us. Um, there are a lot of videos I, I, I want to do, but I'm so on the fence on whether to put it on a Prepper channel or the Angry Truth channel. A lot of the videos like this are ending up on the Angry Truth channel because it doesn't relate to prepping. But if it does, I'll, I'll obviously be doing two videos. One, how it relates to us, and the other one, how it doesn't. Well, not how it does, but how it affects the nation, right? So as preppers, guys, we definitely have to be more in tune to what's going on nationwide. It's not just about blackouts, hurricanes, and fucking snowstorms. We have to worry about the legality of things that are going to affect us down the line. So as far as preppers go, we need to stay abreast of what's going on in the court system because that is going to affect us if a shitty law is passed, right? All right, guys, so this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on The Angry Truth channel and like and subscribe to that. And you can follow me on Instagram as The Angry Truth and you can follow me on Instagram as The Angry Prepper. All right, guys, thank you for watching.